Hello, World Wide Web. I'm Dragon Shadow, the United Sound of Fair. Welcome back to Stay Stay, Democratic Community for both the three of my first and only trip to North Korea. And we're at the beach. The Wonsan with the Yonji. And she's supposed to be in the Kinesis, which is almost the Nakedsis. Which is probably what she looked like in the other place. So it's going to be no surprise. There's a doubt they drew two different versions of her where next to nothing. I don't even need to offer out my hand as she's already grabbed it and is taking me over to a small hut just off the shoreline. Maybe calling it a hut is a bit much. It's more like an outhouse. Pizza outhouse. Worse, there's only one. So we'll be going one at a time. Dot, dot, dot. Whistle, whistle, whistle. Wait. Why are you both just standing outside of it? Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, I was waiting on you, ladies first and all that. Would you... Would you mind going in first? Wait a minute. For all that bravado about the glorious leader and drag you to a beach, you're scared to go put on... Put it on first? Look, I'm nervous, okay? I... You know what I'm getting? I thought of a man before. I've only worn it in front of Yong, and I don't like wearing it in front of her either. I can understand they being shy around a guy, but why on your own why your own sister? She's really pervy. Because she always gets all of the attention. I think someone may be a little jealous. Worse than that, she always tells me that they haven't grown at all. I keep trying to tell her there's more to a woman than her breast size. She just laughs. Guys are always staring at her. Sometimes I wish they'd stare at me. Not that I'd like that or anything. This might be the first time I've ever heard a woman say they wished guys would stare at her. Usually most women wish guys would stop staring. And just the ones who get stared at a lot, because a lot of times they're popular. So they also has a voice, and their voice says, stop looking at me. And then there's all the ones on the sidelines who are like, why does no one look at me? I guess it would be uncomfortable, but it also does sort of validate you in a way. Speaking of uncomfortable, this sudden honesty from Yunji has me uncomfortable. Ah, uh, my ass. Okay, I'll go in first and get changed. Into my thong speedo. I don't have a thong speedo, Jerry. Don't worry. I, I don't. It's okay. Thank you. I, I am grateful for your understanding. Think nothing of it. I won't be long, but it's not the size that matters. I go inside the outhouse. The first thing I notice is that it's freaking dark inside. It smells like shit. You'd think I wouldn't be surprised at this. Considering the lack of updated infrastructure I've seen in Pyongyang and the rest of the country. Yet here I am creating a monologue about how annoyed I am at the lack of electricity. Why didn't the builders put a sky window in or something? Someone could have requested an outhouse scene with a candle or beat torch. Hint, hint. Just a few minutes later, I'm in my silkies and ready to hit the beach. I take it someone didn't ask their art department for... All of the backgrounds that they actually needed. Improvisation. That's that's key. Now, do I play it cool for mixed scenario? Do I heat things up by giving the gun show on exit? Well, a minimalist approach sometimes leaves the greatest impact. Or so I've been told. Still skeptical about that. Since it was just some bullshit that a, a congressman told us when it came to cutting Marine Corps funds, though. Oh yeah, 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 taxpayers complain every time the Corps gets a new uniform, but did you know that we, the Grunts, actually have to buy them with our own money? Yeah, 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 yeah that bullshit. Anyway, now they show off, the, like, those Navy fly boys. Are you okay, Now You didn't fall in, did you? This outhouse barely fits a half-starved Korean worker. I don't think there'd even be enough room for me to sit down, let alone fall. Now come on out already so I can get changed! I guess that's my cue. I push open the door and slowly step out. I... I guess you're acceptable. For an American. Tara, it's okay. I'm an acceptable American. 
Yeah, I am. Come on, Jerry. Come on, get up. Come on. There you are. That's my girly cat. He's so cute. There you are. He's a cute kitty cat. Nah, this is up. Well, that seems to be a very bland reception. I should have given Decker the choice so he could put on a gun show. D just take the compliment! Your face betrays you. You think I'm sexy as fuck. I have no idea what you're saying at all. Sorry, idiom. Remind me again why I put up with you. Protagonist. Mm. Deep down, you know I'm cute. Better be careful, your ego inflates too much more, you won't be able to get back onto the outhouse to change. Yeah, and if it inflates past that, I may just float away across the board in a separatist career. Keep babbling and you just might. I'm going to change, now try not to miss me too much. I'll try, but your bubbly presence is like a beacon of light in the night. Specifically, a flashlight from another marine going firewatch time, bitch. That's what's awful, and yet I've heard the worst pickup lines. With that, she walks into the outhouse and slams the door behind. Pretty sure she's mumbling something about the stupid American outside as she changes. Someone who's complained about me taking so long to get ready, and she hasn't exactly been the model of speed changing herself. It's been ten minutes and I'm pretty sure she hasn't made a peep. <laughs> yeah, and I'm the one taking too long. You okay in there, Yuji? It's been ten minutes. I'm fine, just taking my time, okay? Taking your time? Have you even changed into your swimsuit yet? Yes? Are you coming down with a sudden case of shyness? I already told you, I've never worn a swimsuit in front of a man before, so I'm a little nervous, okay? Would it help if I close my eyes before you walk out? A little. Meh. Okay, I can't read anymore. <laughs> Terror girl. There, it's okay. Okay, I have my eyes closed. Come out and tell me to open them when you're ready. What if I'm never ready? Then you'll have to leave me around before I yank describing everything around the next box like some sort of low budget visual novel. Okay, I'm coming out. I hear the doors open slowly and her muffled footsteps coming out from the outhouse. I think. I think I'm okay. You, you can open them now. What? Uh, same swimsuit! No. Oh, I look okay. Okay, she's hotter than a Willy Pete sh shell going off in a crowded market square. And she looks fantastic, though! I mean, she's not as fitted out as her sister, but a little something for everyone in this game, you know? I'm getting chased. But oh, we'll hold up, G. Don't mistake my silence for disapproval. I was monologuing. I don't understand. Yeah, you you look great. You have nothing to worry about. And to be honest, I guarantee you, the guys are staring at you. You just can't see them. Uh, again, I don't understand. Could you just speak plainly? Sorry, I just mean that you don't have anything to worry about. Thank you. I feel a lot better. I was worried I wasn't attractive. You are. Though maybe you need to lighten up on the Sundari routine. Now let's hit the beach. <laughs> it's okay, Tara, we're not hitting the beach. We head on over to the beach. I must admit the ocean is except exce exceptionally clean and blue here. Hope it stays that way. They could probably actually make money off tourism with this ocean. Well, if they ever get over the whole build nukes and piss off the entire world thing. I spread out to tap the towels and put up the umbrella. It's then I notice we're forgetting something. Hey, Yunji. Did you bring any sunblock? No, I'm afraid I didn't have any. Do we need any? Do we need it? Sunburns are no joking matter. Do you want to know how much of a tan I got after nine months deployment in the baking Afghan sun? If you're so worried, then may, they may have some at the store over there. Better lead the way. They might freak out if I go up. Sh if I'm not shot first. 
but I can't hardly get shot off after being so nice to be a me about my swimsuit. Again, my hand is grabbed and I'm led into the store. Oh, it's being passed to the store. Why, they drew a new background for the store, so I didn't think it's nice. Unless it's all still plastic. I'm pretty sure this store is state run. Small, sparse, and the cashier is wearing an army uniform. Oh, and he has a rifle slung over his shoulder because, you know, what if you have to engage invading naval infantry in between shifts? I suppose that's one way to discourage shoplifting. This shop was set up specifically to sell us foreign tourists, but we can't be too careful with foreigners, so it needs protection. If you all didn't confiscate t shirts you deemed as anti Korean propaganda, you would need state run shops like this. I am not having another discussion about us taking your t shirt! Though, I have to admit, if you want to get foreigners spending money in your shops, confiscating half their stuff in the way in is one way to do it. I'm going to let that one stride, but only because you complimented my swimsuit. Let's just find the sunblock and go. There's not a lot in this store, which means the selection is a lot to be desired. Just like everything else in this country, only two women to fawn over. <laughs> There's only one bottle of sunblock, and it appears to be past its sell by date, and it's only SPF 2.5 to boot. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Literally. There's no choice here. I pick it up and pay the nice, heavily armed cashier, and we're on our way back. Just a warning, this bottle won't survive the day. We're going to have to reapply this as early as often. Early and often. Done. How early and how often do you seek? I'd say about the time we're done applying the first coat and we passed out for the new coat. Whatever, I'm going to lay down and relax. Would you like me to apply the sun? Is this some sort of excuse to get your hands on me? Typically it would, but now I'm just looking out for you. And I suppose afterwards you want me to rub it on you. Well, yeah, I don't want a sunburn either. Huh, <laughs> should have gone indoor skiing. Maybe next trip. You'll be lucky if you even get another date. This is day three. Mindy turns around and lets me apply the sunblock to her back. In turn, she does the same to me. Hmm. Afterwards, we finish slathering up and lay down under the umbrella on our towns. Is it okay if we nap for a bit? Then take a quick dip in the ocean? That sounds like fun. Sure. And with that, she smiles and closes her eyes. Guess I'll do the same. Dekakun, Dekakun, you are in danger. Is some sort of dream? Pretty much, uh, did I get the ominous voice thing right? It was okay. I've heard scarier. It's like 10 p.m. at night. I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this. Is this better, maggot? Ah, gunny. What the hell are you doing here? Do not give me that shit, maggot! You are in danger, you limp dick fuck nugget! God damn it, gotta get out of my dreams. Dot dot dot. Well, that was completely weird and unnecessary. You okay over there, Yunji? Looking over at us, Yunji isn't there. Only then do I notice the splashing in the ocean. Looks like Yunji is has it having some fun swimming. She does know how to have fun, and not just by killing people. She glances my way and notices I'm awake and waves me over, so I head into the water. You're still dreaming. Kind of cold, but not too bad. Glad to see you're awake. I was afraid you wouldn't get a chance to go swimming. How long was I out? How about an hour or so? Unfortunately, the driver came and woke me up. We'll have to head back soon. Glorious Rita has put the whole country on high alert. If you don't get home before a certain time, we'll have to spend the night either at a hotel, or we'll have to camp out somewhere. Sounds serious. What happened? Seems there has been a national emergency yet again. 
It appears a glorious reader has run out of imported French wines, and therefore we're under our rod until the next shipment can come. That, uh, doesn't seem to work, Marshal Law. Reports are incomplete, but glorious reader wouldn't insist to such a drastic action unless it was justified. <coughs> I guess I'll bury that gift in my big bag of the house. Huh? Nothing important. Carry on. Well, either way, let's not he let that ruin our fun. We should swim our return before changing and heading home. That's my face. That's my face. That's my face. There. What is it with you and my face? Why do you always want to jump on my face? Standing up there, like a like a little little human, sitting up, sticking your hands on my face, and then biting my face. And with that, we splash around on a couple swimming races and generally have a good time. Or try to anyway. My attention at being in this country grows by the minute. Afterwards, we get changed and we're back in the car, heading for Pyongyang. I wish we could have stayed longer. There's a nice little shrine in that area. We could have made a wish. Well, there are other ways to make a wish. Dandelions, falling stars, even the digits on a clock. Or one of those things doesn't sound like the others. If you have a digital clock somewhere, you wait for the numbers to align to a time like 1111, and you make a wish. I'll give it a try sometime, but would you mind letting me use your rap for a pre roll again? I could use another rap. No worries. <laughs> and with that, she lays her head down on my lap again, and we're heading home in the same way we went to the beach in antagonizing. Antagonizing pain! Uh, agonizing! I know words! I get the feeling the whole national emergency thing is just more propaganda. To make sure the Korean populace knows who re who's really in control here. That's my face. Tear, I'm in control here. Know that? I'm in control. <laughs> Your big ol' eyes. You're a cute little kid. It really blows. Two people I've interacted with most seem really nice. They deserve better than being on a false high alert. Looking up, I think I see the driver staring back at me in the rear view mirror. Then I realize I didn't have one, he's just staring at me. Like, if he knows that I noticed it, he obviously doesn't care. If he knows that I noticed it, if he knows that I noticed, then he obviously doesn't care because he makes no motion to stop looking at me. I'm not sure what to make of it. Eh, just paranoid. I'm sleepy. Okay, and that means we can just go straight to. Yeah, we are. We have the Mount Pike too with Young and Yunji. That's that's the final date, and we're still skipping. Like, well, was I thought I said only skip at stop skipping after choice. But we're gonna help Yunji by taking her bag. So if I'm I'm going to help Yunji with her bag. Uh, is this really a good idea? Well, the worst she could do is kick me in the head. Both of them. I nonchalantly walk over and GRAB HER BAG! It's pretty light despite the size of the case. WHY ARE YOU PICKING UP MY SUITCASE?! I thought I'd help you with it by taking it to the car for you. I don't really need the help. I'm not a distressed out darling who can't carry her bag. Distressed out darling. Oh, why must you be so rude, Yunji? He's just trying to be nice to you. If you're so interested in his niceness, then why don't you have him carry your case? If he wanted to, I'd let him. But he wanted to help my sister. How can I complain? Didn't mean to get you two fighting. Be glad to carry your bag, yo. Next time, Decker. Next time. Whoa. Deal. Okay, you two last squares. Stop being mushy and let's move. Okay. So he's... 
região. É. We're gonna sit next to Yonji. Next to Yonji? Makes sense. Him is less likely to beat me up for snubbing her. Heck, she'll probably be happy, right? I belly on over to the seat next to Yunji and sit down next to her. I can't believe you chose to sit next to me. Why can't you? Uh, there's a seat open next to Yong, and I thought that you would naturally go sit next to her. I could go move next to her if you're uncomfortable. No, don't! I mean, it's okay. It's not like I'm happy you chose to sit next to me. But it would be a pain for you to move now, so just stay here next to me, okay? Still can't be honest with him, can you? Well, it's his own fault for sitting with me, as that's you! You know you'll eventually push him away if you keep acting like that. Acting like what? You're not not there to go with guys, especially attractive for... Attractive, then. No, I mean... Yes, but... Shut up! No, oh, Yeonji, when will you ever learn? You shut up too! Don't be a hurt rooster because your cute guy sat next to me! Nonsense, I'm happy for you. I wish you a long, love life together and many day and many babies. You can get through this outing before even thinking about sleeping with your sister. Are, are you saying you want me? I see no reason to glance when it gives me out of this rather very sweet me. So I shall instead close my eyes and pretend I know that I have come down with a case of narcolepsy. Narcolepsy isn't an illness. Can't hear you because of narcolepsy. Yes, I have come down with narcolepsy too. You two are such a cute couple. And we can get past this. We're getting to the we're, we're doing it. We're doing it and doing it and doing it wow. Doing it and doing it doing it wow. Doing it and doing it doing it, wow. it, it, it wow. We're doing the last date. And ladies first. I should hang back and let the ladies get it up first. Given what I think I know about Yunji, she'd be really shy about disrobing at the hot spring in front of me. But I think she'll be okay if she gets it first and I follow up later. Why don't you two head out to the hot spring first? I'm going to hang back and stretch my legs for a few minutes. You're going to come to the hot springs, right? They have different ties for men and women, right? No, there's a no time separation. There's a partition when they pulled up, right? So men on one side and women on the other? No, there isn't. Remember, this was built as a resort for women, so they didn't bother making a partition for the spring. Don't tell me I'm going to base it to spring to get her. Of course, we'll have a great time. We can soak in the mineral water, scrub each other's backs, tell each other all our secrets. But I can't soak in the spring with him! He's a man! And it only took five days for you to notice this fact. You don't know what I mean. Look, I figured I'd let you go on ahead and get it situated in the spring first, and I'd follow in after. But if it bothers you that much, I can just wait until you're done and go soak by myself. That will not do. We're all adults here, for legal reasons. Certainly, we can handle soaking in a hot spring together. I think I'll be okay if we get in first and you'll want me when you'll come out and join us. Then it's settled. Go on ahead and I'll be there in ten minutes. That should be enough time, right? That will be sufficient. Come along, Yunji. I'll make a woman out of you someday. What? 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 Oh, sorry. I should leave that to Decker. Don't keep us waiting too long. Yung drags Yunji out the door before either of us have a chance to protest for the last statement. Okay, I lied. Yunji would have protested it. I would have made a snarky remark to annoy Yunji. Ha! After ten minutes, I head over to the spring's changing station. Maybe two towns would be a good idea. One to wear in and remove to spare Yunji's sensibilities, and the other to dry off and wrap back around when we're done. The six P's after all. Six P's after all. Proper perspiration prevents piss poor performance. So, with one towel around my waist and the other slung over my shoulder, I head out to the spring. Took you long enough. Sorry. Space out for a couple of minutes, but here I am. Both girls are already in the water. Guess I'd best join them. You're not going to wear that towel in here, are you? No, really, it's okay for him to wear it if he wants. I'm 
Relax, sister. You've seen a man in a bathing suit. As he says this, I whip off the towel, freeing the voice. Shit. Cold air means shrinkage to make this throw. Wait, did you all say bathing suit? Also, what was that loud splash just now? Yoji! Did she just faint into the water? Your manly display was too much for her. Oops. This might be the greatest moment of my life. Let's make sure she doesn't drown so we can tease her about it. I hadn't noticed until now, but neither girl is naked in this hot spring. They do look cute in their bikinis, though. Both have swimsuits on. Of course we have swimsuits on! You think we'd be naked? I thought it had occurred to me as being a hot spring at all. It wasn't against the idea of being naked, but Yunji insists on wearing suits. It's called modesty, sister. Modesty is nice. I only hope you forget your modesty when you finally confess to that girl. Just go put on a basic suit! I don't have one. It's a spare, spare, spare pair of silk is what I want to do. Still, I am glad you are thoughtful enough to have brought out the two towers when you thought we'd all be naked. It was that praise I heard from you, lovely voice, your G. Bike G. Okay. Okay. So, here we are kicking back and soaking in the mineral springs. Good thing the spring is naturally heated because the air is pretty crisp around us. And I've seen this already, so. Shy sky blue color. I seem to recall Yunji liking blues, though. Can't remember why. Guess I'll put on the blue one and see if I can get a smile out of her. Out of the entertainment. Out to the entertainment room I go. I like the bro rob. It's my favorite car. I know. I know. That's why I picked it. But I never told you it was my favorite car. So how did you know? Probably because it's the color of your panties right now. No, 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 I was thinking more about it. Uniforms color. Bryunte! Bryunte! There's the young dude we know and love. Now that I've had a chance to settle in, I notice that the girls aren't wearing the robes from the hotel either. So... Ah, oh, fuck. Well, it was, oh yeah, it was, 80's pop was Yeonju. So, yeah. 80's synths kick in, strut the stage a bit, nail the chorus, time to rock the refrain! Up oh, the slightly modified refrain, refrain. Checking my audience, Young seems to be listening like one would a core class forced on you by university standards, but Yeonju, she's banging her head and whipping her hair around like she's one of my groupies. It's kinda cute, really. And... And... We gonna wish for Yunji's happiness. I pull out a euro from my pocket. Looks like this one's from Greece. I bet if I gave this back to the Greek government, it would double what they have on their bank account. As I toss the coin into the river, I whisper a wish for Yunji's happiness. Why did you waste a wish like that? But I am grateful that you shot of me. Forgot my whispering tends to be a bit louder than other people's. Oh well, Lindsay seems happy. She's fine, so it's fine. We'd better make our way back and get to the, and get to the car. If we miss the train, it'll throw everything off schedule, and you might not make your flight home. Oh yes, it's getting crossed to your departure date, isn't it? So what, I can't remember like if I mean I could like save right here. And then if I skip, will it... Okay, it doesn't skip unseen, so that's good. We've gotten back from our short mountain getaway together. That was pretty fun, despite the temperature resembling the time I got drilled in Alaska. But when I was assigned to Alaska, not drilled like in the... Now I'm moving on. The trip back was pretty uneventful. There weren't too many people on the train, so no seat incidents to worry about. The return was definitely faster than the trip up there, though. We're actually home, it's not even past national curfew. As soon as we got home, the girls retreated to their room, so I didn't waste much time getting to bed. Since I'm heading back to America soon, I didn't really see the need to unpack my bag from the trip. So now I'm just laying here on the bed, contemplating if I should say something to the girls or just fall asleep for the night. Knock, knock, knock. 
guess there was a third option after all. Wait until one of the girls comes to see me! And this is all the stuff we've seen before, but the skip button's grayed out, so I can't skip it. So it does skip unseat and not just skip, like, until the next choice, which is nice. Or skip scene, but not a, it doesn't skip it unscat. A decent coming. So, um, thought I'd come see what you're up to. Still roughly around six foot one or so. Don't think I'll hit any more growth spurts. Why do you always come back at me with the ramest jokes? Do you enjoy teasing me so much? If that doesn't scream not in the mood for dad jokes, I don't know what does. I'm not in the mood for dad jokes! That does. Sorry, you are kind of fun to tease. Which is a good thing. Best in a tease girls they enjoy being around. You, you enjoy being around me? Well, sure, why wouldn't I? Because I'm already saying mean things to you and acting like I don't rank you. I never thought you'd really meant most of it. You seem to have a hard time expressing yourself. Plus, you just sold yourself out. Acting like I don't like you implies you, in fact, do like me. Huh, maybe I'm a Spock. I'm having a hard time reading Yunji. Well, even harder than I normally do. She seems to be struggling to not fall back on her usual Sundari routine. Is something the matter? You can talk with me if you want. I'll listen. I guess it's never been easier for me to say what I'm thinking. I've always been in my sister's shuttle. And at the same time, I feel embarrassed for thinking such way. But still, it's her ears and picking up English. The way you guys rock at her. I guess I just feel inferior to her. No matter what I do. The only thing I can claim to be better than her at will be shooting. I'm not sure why you feel inferior. You're your own person. And cute in your own way. I am not cute! Stop that! You are cute. Why would you ever take a compliment from me? How am I ever supposed to tell you how much I like you when you won't ever let me tell you you're cute? Wait, what am I admitting right now? Did I just tell Yunji I like you? Well, I like you too! I, I mean, wait, no, I, I, I won't stop myself this time. I... I love you, Dekka. It's okay, Ter. It's, it's, it's just a cartoon character. She's not real. It's okay, girly cat. You, you all right, Terra girl? It's fine. It's fine. She's just, she's just a cartoon cat. She's sincere. This is coming right from her heart. She deserves a truthful answer in return. I like your tits. Hi. Terra, that's my face. That's my face. That's my eye you got in the hall. <laughs> Why you do that? I love you too, Yonji. I rave you today. Go hit on your. Did, did, did you just tell me you loved me too? Yes, I did. You're, you're not teasing me, right? Please tell me you aren't. My heart can't take that kind of teasing. I don't tease about important things like this. You are fun to be around. And I've fallen head over heels for you. Boom! You fun. Yunji pulled her uniform off in a flash! As if to make sure she it's real, she tackle hugged me to the bed and is showering me with kisses. I'm trying my best to return them, but she's peppering me with them like a machine gun. Hey, mind if I get a... Just breathe. Yunji rolls around, leaving me above her as I regain my breath. <gasps> oh, hi. Remember a couple of nights ago when you helped me with English? Sure, I remember what it's like to do with, with here and now. I want to run one more word. What are the word? Oh. Anal. What sort of tour guy would I be if I don't give you the best car you have to offer? Whoa, that's... that's some... I, I, I'm getting with that tourism agency. Did you just say something flirty? You might want to get used to it. I am cramming you as mine, you know. No sharing with the people, then. Of course not, I'm more equal than the rest of the populace, and I don't share. Right then. 
I heard about taking sailors sure leave to get to go get a little action, but this is entirely different. I'm in love with the girl, and she's in love with me, and I can't leave her behind after the sure leave is over. The question is, how do I go about making this happen more in the future? I'm to leave here in another day, and I doubt she can just waltz out with me. And she has actually fallen asleep on top of me like a cat. Not complaining, but it might make going to the bathroom a tad difficult. Maybe I should rest up as well, in case round two is on the way. Dot dot dot. I think I heard someone moving. Must be Young going to the bathroom. I guess I'll get that shut eye then. Bloop. Wait, Young came in here? Uh. Hi, Young. Fancy running into you here. Well, it's my own bedroom, you know. And here you went and deflowered my little sister on my bed. Pretty ner nervy of you. I love it. Yeah, sorry about that. You kind of got carried away with there, and I wasn't thinking with my head. Uh, oh, I do believe you were thinking with your head, just not the one that contains your brain, but it's okay. This is what I hope for. You did seem to be playing matchmaker at times, didn't you? I must admit, you are pretty cute. I might have to have to lock Yunji in a closet and have my way with you myself. I don't think Yunji would allow that. Relax, I was merely teasing. However, I'm afraid I do have something for you here that I'm not teasing you about. In the moonlight, I think I see something shining. Is that a needle? There's a certain appearance that our leader needs you to feign for the sake of our mission. This way seems easiest. You don't have to do this. What are you doing? Let's talk it out. I'm afraid I do, but don't worry. This won't kill you. Probably. With that, she gently injects me with the needle. This will just make you go to sleep for a while, but not permanently. But why? What did I do? Full of stars! Sleepy stars. You only put your in your recommended dose, right? Yes, of course I did. Maybe? Help me, Dashion, and let's take him to the rendezvous port. Can I borrow him for one night sometime, please? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Let's move! And. So groggy! Feels like I've been on a three day rager while on shore leave, and I'm just barely sobering up. My lids are so heavy. You need to take stock of my surroundings, though. Oh, good! Huh. Man, that light is barely on. It feels like being in front of a thousand suns. But if the segment of the world's worst hangover, I'm human, I'm not as much to see. I'm blind as an empty room that I've been called in the middle of the night that I looked at, and I'm not sorry that I'm going to take 20 to 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 20 Undoubtedly, you have questions. I'll try my best to guide you, though time is short. That voice, I recognize it. I've heard it a few times since being in Karia. But that's one of the three I recognize. I... I know you. Our driver. Where am I? I'm glad the drug didn't dull your senses too much. Yes, I have been driving you around Karia this week. My name is Yam Yong Kwangjo. I am the father of both Yong and Yoji. Well, thank you for accompanying me these past few days, for you have... Given me hope. Hope? You mean I'm not going to die? Not at my hands, and hopefully not at all. Regardless, I put you in danger by bringing you to Korea and associating with you, you with my daughters. How so? I am, as you would say, a dead man walking. As are my girls. My sight's not quite back yet, and it's pretty dark in here, but you sound pretty healthy. And Young and Yoji are both very healthy. It's not like that, Dagger. Don't you really know about the Democratic People's Republic of Korea? I don't see that a whole lot considering it. Bloody did it a very good point. You have a nation. Same as us, right? This is the simplest country. Was the most private prison. And if you do the same, give me tackle. And nuts and you do do. I put through the map times. It says, why I'm playing the head times. He's me just now. You want to lend me a pen and all that. Pizzas at the bottom. I've fallen in love with Yunji, my youngest. Well, that, that part must have worked, seeing as you're sitting here right now. Yes, in the robes and roundabout way, Yunji and I have confessed our mutual love of each other. My precious youngest girl, I'm happy she's managed to express her feelings. Problem is, I'm not sure how to go about getting her out of the country safely. 
I'll browse it'll be new to my main cave. Now the rest should be the same. Yeah, I can't go. Yeah, yeah, we know it's the same. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we just, I guess, yeah, this is the end. It's the same ending. We know what happens. So let's just go. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 the, the difference we had in the uh, ending was just a little bit and a different mood, which is okay. You know, the different moods. That's a that is something. Something to look forward to in visual novels. Um, and clicking, clicking, yes. <sighs> but there are different endings to get, I know, and I will be going for them. But not right now. I'm gonna be leaving this video. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Flies the flag over building red flag with black bird. Bad news and more bad news. Wonderful. And that would be. Welcome to Albania. This is the West. Ah, the West sucks. Even Pyongyang didn't rock quite this bad. You think this is bad? Wait up until we get home to Detroit. So that was slightly different. We didn't end up in Syria, we ended up in Albania. So yeah, this has been Stay Stay, Democratic Union for North Korea, my first and only trip to North Korea. The endings were practically identical with a slight bit of difference, but there are different endings to go for. I do prefer to have endings that are like completely differently written, not just have like a very small amount, but at least there's I mean it's like not as bad as like with Panzer models where you had so many different characters and you had like the same ending for the vast majority except for who comes in afterwards like that was the only difference in the vast majority but this is like two and the ending is a lot longer and a lot more detailed anyway so you can forgive it for being pretty much the same between the two i mean i skipped over the vast majority of it but i don't think there were too many differences other than that like i caught the Albania thing, I'm like, wait, that's different. I reround them just a bit just to get that. But yeah. I still gotta figure out. Still gotta do the other endings. And that should be fun. So, until next time.